the quick sand of temptation. One evening, David got up from his bed and walked around on the roof of the palace. From the roof, he saw a woman bathing. The woman was very beautiful, and David sent someone to find out about her. Second Samuel chapter 11, verses 2 and 3. King David was a good man, a man after God's own heart. But one night, he wasn't where he was supposed to be, and he wasn't doing what he was supposed to be doing. He was supposed to be fighting with his army. So he was up on his roof watching the married lady next door take a bath. They sent for her to come to his palace and the story goes downhill from there. You're probably familiar with it. The beautiful woman Bathsheba ended up pregnant and her husband ended up conveniently dead on the front line of David's battle. Being sent there specifically for that purpose by David, the king married Bathsheba but they lost their baby. Amazingly, he had an effort for a conversation with the prophet Nathan. David made a constitution that he had pulled one over on God just because he had covered his tracks for this and not how it works. What could have saved David from the temptation to involve himself with another man's wife? Instead of feasting his eyes on that naked woman, he should have turned his eyes away and made a dissertation to God immediately and gone right into the privacy of his own room. Then he could have done what he had done in the midst of so many other battles or personal struggles, falling on his face before God in prayer, praise, and worship. If he had stayed there before the Lord until the grip of temptation had released him, these tragedies would never have happened, but he didn't. David sent someone to find out about her. He stuck his toe into the quicksand of temptation, and before he knew what he was in over his head, all of us from face temptation at one time or another it may not be the same kind that David faced, but anything that draws us away from God and takes us through it against God does us temptation. Whenever that happens, you immediately get before God and confess it, asking to set you free from it and help you do the right thing. The worship God, do you feel the temptation broken over you? The ability to withstand temptation begins a moment. You look to your Savior and deliverer for help. Dear God, I pray you will help me to always successfully resist temptation from the moment I'm confronted with it. Help me to draw closer to you. When anything tries to draw me away from you, deliver me from the trap of temptation before I fall into it. Give me the strength, wisdom, and knowledge I need to fully resist temptation at all times.